Well, we made it back from the dome. We're here in the shop and uh, spent about two weeks getting this thing straightened out. As you can see, we got the car in the background here. Uh, we're still not done with it, but uh, it's a drastic improvement. If you guys seen any videos in the past, you uh, can, let's, let me just show you. Probably won't notice much and it may look cluttered to you. This is all gonna go bye-bye. Just brought the tires in, I washed them out side. Yeah, that'll move. I, I'm really doing a terrible job at showing you what's going on, but uh, everything is organized. I had to take every one of these uh, pieces of wood. It was like press board. I went to Lowe's and got every single one of those recut with half inch. Uh, what's that stuff that smells funny? OSB? Yeah, OSB. Half inch OSB. Replaced every one of the shelves. I got some extras. And we're slowly making our way to getting back to Chucky. So as you can see, he's got all his body panels off because we sold most of them at the dome, as we normally do. So keep that in mind for 2024 dome. If you want a panel off our race car, we most of the time sell them all right there. But what Nathan's doing is uh, he's pulling all this stuff off because we've got to go to the frame shop. Kind of nice. Uh, driver here. Uh, you know, <laughs> I, I heard, a, heard a thing the other day, a guy, you know how we say stepped on it? Mm -hmm. He said, well, he said, I'm only working with three inches, but I still managed to step on it. So there you go. <laughs> uh, I stepped on it. I went into the turn way too hard. Short legs. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> At least we can laugh about it. That's all I can say. We're all in the same boat here, guys. Come on. Anyway, the back end of this car is shoved over. Uh, I hit the wall real hard. You can kind of see the evidence of it right here. And uh, kind of done one of them things. I'll, I'll put the picture or video of that happening right here. But anyway, we got to take it back to Impressive to have him look at it because I think we're really kind of tweaked in the back. So that's what we're doing. We're going to pull the motor, all the front suspension, rear end. Seems like we've just done this. I think we did. <laughs> right before I the dome. put it together and go to the dome. <laughs> to go to the dome, yeah. So we had the front end messed up. If you guys remember, us taking out that ute tire and caving the whole side of the car in. Uh, since we're on a roll of showing you how we epically, since we're on a roll of showing you how we uh, epically fail, and by we, I mean me as the driver, I'll enter that here. Okay, so now that that's all done and we've ripped it off like a band-aid, we've got to do it again. It should all come apart pretty quick. We, we take it off in big chunks so it's not so bad. And I've actually got a little room to set stuff right here. Oh, right there. Got a little room to put stuff. Uh, also, I bought a uh, sheet metal shear. 52 inch. It's not quite six foot, but I, we're going to try it out. So we got to find a spot for that too. Cherry picker. <laughs> I really wish I would have recorded us taking that out. I wish I would have loved that. Yeah. Yeah. So we had our buddy ours bring it in a uh, 2500 pickup. He backs into this door and we get the cherry picker and it's up. It took him and Ronnie standing on the cherry picker and me pull. It was, let's see, everybody kept their fingers and toes and nobody got hurt. So that's good. Other than that. That's already healed up, so it's fine. Yeah, that's you don't need that one anyway. That's the dirty finger. Yeah. That's why, that's why I lost it. <laughs> yeah. So that's our job for the next few days is getting this thing tore down. We're going to get the motor ripped out so they can put it on their jig and make sure that everything is A-OK. -okay. <laughs> and we was also thinking about getting another powder coat job done on it, wasn't we? Mm -hmm. I think my dad's talked me out of that. I think we're going to... Just put it all back together, whatever bars they got to replace. We'll just, uh, I like that roll bar and chassis paint from, uh, I think it's VHT. I get it at O'Reilly's. It's kind of got a primer and everything in it. It sticks really good. So we'll, we'll just probably do that because I don't know. Every year we take a car all the way down or buy a new car, build it from the ground up. So not having to wire a car this year or do any of that would be kind of neat. Hey, <laughs> Yeah. Well, you just look, th this last season. Hey, it's new year, new me. New year, new me, yeah. 
<laughs> new me, new year. Uh, last season, this car was assembled. I've got videos on all this stuff, guys. So if you don't know, go check out all the previous videos. Uh, we pulled a car out of the weeds the year before. We named him Lazarus. The car that was in the weeds was mine from, I wrecked it in 2014. Completely redone it, gave it a new life. One races with it, full build series on that. So that was uh, two years ago, and then we fully built this one from the ground up, frame, uh, last season. So, yeah. And then the year before that, we, we had the crib tonight. We actually had that one assembled, but we went through it front to back anyway, so it was almost like we built it. So, uh, yeah. So, yeah, we've kind of taken a hiatus on the videos, and, and that was why. I didn't want to film me or the guys working on the shop. It's... Uh, you know, you, maybe you'd like to watch it, but I don't know. That's just a whole bunch of BS that we got out of here, and we're still working on it. I've I've made it to, you know, you come in the in the door there, and I've made it to here around this corner. This TV, yeah, it's a giant TV, but it has a dark spot, so I replaced my TV in the house, and now I've got a 65 inch TV in my shop. <laughs> Works good for watching races. So now I've got to work on this table. Go all the way around. I'm probably going to get rid of this air conditioner. Put a mini split in here. Put the mini split up there a little higher. We free up all this room. Get rid of this fridge. All this is up to that saw over here. It's all going to go. And put my sheet metal brake here. The shear. Uh, we're talking about there's a lean to out this window. I'll take you out there. Oof, good. So it, you can't see it on camera, but it is snowing a little bit right now. Um, don't mind the mess. I actually got us a uh, heated pressure washer. I got the pump going on it. It was, uh, it's been setting forever. I got the pump going on it. Now I'm working on the diesel fired part of it. So if you guys want to see me work on crap like that, let me know. That helps me get content too. But I don't want to force you guys to watch that stuff on a racing. I mean, this is a racing channel. So I don't, you know, let me know. Drop comments down below if you want to watch that kind of stuff. Same way with the golf carts. You may or may not know, but this is my primary business right now is customizing and building golf carts. You see, I got one over there, that really nice one up there is a red club car. Uh, just got that Jeep too. But uh, if you guys want to see me work on golf carts and stuff, let me know. I mean, it, we're, we do all kinds of stuff. Maybe I'll just start up a, another channel. Um, please don't mind this mess. This is all coming out of here, but this is kind of a catch-all right now. So this is a pretty nice lean-to that we're uh, thinking about finishing out. Nathan has framed a lot of houses in his day. So me, I'm not the construction guy, but I can definitely, if you say put something there and screw it down to there and do this, that, and the other, I can do it. Close this off, concrete the floor, open that window up to a pass-through, garage door on this side, and that would actually be a real nice addition. That's probably about... 15 feet, give or take 12 maybe, sorry about that. 12 to 15 feet by 30. That's a pretty nice addition, so. Let me know if you guys like, guy was, let me know if you guys would like to see us jack with that too. So I want to wish everybody a happy new year. This is our first video of 2024. Uh, and that's where we've been. So we're looking to pick right back up where we left off, get this car going. And we've got some giant races coming this year. Um, $100,001 to win, $50,000 to win, and $20,000 to win. That's our three big shows, three big shows that, that uh, 
uh, 100%. I've already registered for them, paid the entry fees and everything like that. We're going to Wisconsin, Texas, Fairbury Speedway in Illinois. Uh, we're going to bounce around and do a lot of traveling this year where we normally didn't because this guy had a nine to five. But as you know, or most of you know now, my wife owns a business. It's called On Point Nutrition here in Farmington, Missouri. And Lucky 7 Speed Shop and Golf Carts and Old Number 7 Garage YouTube. That's what we do. So we count ourselves lucky that you guys support us enough that this is a reality for us. I'm going to get in on this thing and uh, see if we can get tore apart today. Other than it getting shorter, this is pretty sharp. Yeah, sure. <laughs> That's the drill doctor. Not Brian, just the regular drill doctor. Not B. <laughs> He's the OG drill doctor. You know what I'm surprised about? The uh, This Weir's T-Bar held up pretty daggum good. Piece over there. No, that was left to chat a long time ago. <laughs> but look, this, look at the bend in that. That's because the, the frame is actually a problem. But if, if you guys don't have these, or if you ever noticed them or looked at them, that's pretty freaking stout. Fully adjustable, so you can run, we didn't even tighten that. I guess we shouldn't have run 45 inches of deck height. But anyway, I knocked this one off several times, ripped it off. But uh, it didn't bend this, did it? Yeah, it's got a little dent on it right there. Mm-mm, that's from tightening it. Yeah. That bolt? It could be. Yeah, I think it's from tightening it. Really. But it, it, uh, yeah. That thing is, all you gotta do is take that bolt out, slide this off, and you put a whole new piece on there. We've done it several times. Well, we've done it three, two times, and you said, all right, I ain't putting another one in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we're done. Yeah, that's it. I said, no, actually, I said we're out of brace. Oh, okay. Just got the uh, spoiler off. <laughs> um, we went from Ken Block Forever to Ken Block 4. 4V. 4, 4, 4, whatever that is. Anybody want this spoiler, I can put it in a box. It won't be cheap to ship, but um, I can send that somewhere if you're looking. Let me know. I don't think we'll be using that spoiler again. It's been straightened more than once. Never say never. <laughs> uh, I'm instantly regretting the house shoes, but I'm gonna lean. I'm gonna embrace it. Yeah. This is a good thing about a dirt car is they come apart very, very fast. We do get to save this panel, so that's good. So we won't have to remake, remake that, but everything else is gonna be, eh, I didn't say everything. We may save this one too. This one here looks pretty intact. Yeah, I think I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna pull it off for now, but I won't have to make that. So we'll make one. We won't make this one either. This is a um, stacked panel. You guys know we run uh, stacked panels quite a lot. So this is a, like you could fold it to grandma's house. And it's got a 90 made in it. Yeah, we've tore it up. Now that's the back corner, you know, right rear corner. That's tagged several walls. Yeah, three different racetracks to be exact. And it's still straightish. We'll put that up here. I got a new piece. And we won't make that. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six pieces for the deck. That's not bad. Doors and quarters will be stacked. I'm trying to find a reason to not make the sail panels out of the stack stuff, too. The only thing is that, like, okay, well, you can see this sail panel here. It's got a little bit of an arch to it, so you'd have to put some aluminum in the back. Because the stack stuff, you can't bend it. Um, to give it some, uh, some form, basically. Yeah, so it, no, I didn't call you that. Yeah, so it's snowing, no big deal. I mean, we're in Missouri, it snows every once in a while, but it's like sideways snow. 
I don't like it. So I'm going in the shop. But no fear. I've got a heated shop, and I'm thankful for that. Yep, we're watching the chili bowl too. Hey, just so you know, you can get six of these in your pocket. Kangaroo pads, that's what I called it. Yeah. Yeah. Need one? <laughs> we just had White Castle. So, six, possibly seven. Road sodies. Kangaroo pad. whatever you call this thing. Front hoodie pocket. Yeah. I just pulled them out of the race car trailer. And turned everything off in there. Still got power hooked to it. We got a mini split in there and had the heat going because we had the race car in the trailer till today. So it did get pretty cold. We don't run hand freeze. We just, we run uh, the maximum off-road coolant. So we want to make sure that it didn't freeze or anything like that. So that's, that's all good. You can see we got, uh, you can see we got the decking blowed off of it. Everything we're taking off anyway. We we'll probably wind up taking this off too, I think. I just undone. I just gotta, we gotta Slide it out. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cause we run our, yeah, we run our charger deals right, right on that piece of decking. So I'm going to pull the battery out. You guys ever seen a gold lithium battery? Look how little that guy is. Here's my hand. Yeah. Thing weighs less than a gallon of milk. So pretty cool. A lot of guys double stack and run too. Might not have to do that, but anywho, pulling off headers. Got a pretty good seal on them. Got a really good seal on them. Yeah. Drop down in the comments below. Let's hear some opinions or how you guys do it. Do you use header gaskets or do you put the high temp silicone on it? You can see what we do. And it seems to work pretty good. Uh, plus, you don't have to have 48 different flavors of header gaskets because you got this header, that header, this motor, that motor, you know. So I'm gonna jump on this side and get this header off while he gets that one. And I believe we'll be willing the cherry picker in here before too long. And popping the old pro power out. We got a spot to set that thing? We got an engine uh, stand right there, right? Yeah. We'll, yeah, we'll just cradle it and set it over there in the flow. Keep her nice and toasty in here. What? I see you. So you're just telling me that's up there with imagination? Mm -hmm. Well, at least... Cover shoes on. Yeah, at least something's got a seal on it. Pop them off. Let's show them up. Oh, there you go. That was a pretty good seal. Let's look at the header itself. Oh, yeah. Not a blown gasket one because it didn't have one. That is why uh, some of these like header manufacturers, I like how they do the flat flange. Almost machine pass across it. You get a really good seal that way. Where are these? The Bayas, ain't they? Uh, BA. Yeah. Got these uh, from Daryl Dickerson Double D Motorsports. If you guys are looking in the Farmington area for lots of race car parts, but yeah, new and used. I got these from him because we need to summon a pinch because the Pro Power uh, we caved the header in. If you remember, yeah, you watched that part in the video earlier. Look at this. This panel right here, the door, still usable, and it was even jammed up. You can see where it was smoking up against the header but uh never had a set of stainless headers before so that's pretty freaking cool i did have to steal i got actually almost two sets of headers from him this is uh just the standard part off the uh, other header seemed to work out pretty good other than it kind of it goes down a little farther than i'd like daisy are you cameoing how you doing about ready to have some puppies yeah yeah she uh anybody looking for some uh, aussie pups we will be selling them. Purebred, papered. She's going to be a mom. And uh, that, that guy right there, that's the dad. Oh, man. <laughs> I hope not. Lucky. That's the dad right there. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Wave to him. Let me see it. Ready? Daisy don't care. Like a daggum deer. Anyway, like I was saying... That needs to be changed a little bit. We actually, it probably needs to go like that so it comes straight back. So probably get with uh, BAs, I think you say that. Get with them and we'll get another stainless piece right there. Have some really nice headers. Making it seem like there's a whole lot going on right now. 
by vacuuming and making unnecessary noise, but really, at the end of the day, I'm trying to keep this place clean, so. Get a little something on your shoe there, bud. Wow, well, yeah, thanks, buddy. Appreciate that. Did you hear what he said? If you didn't, rewind it, because I'm not saying it. <laughs> yeah. You ever been beat to death with a vacuum cleaner? Okay. Well, somebody's wife might do that to you one day. <laughs> That's all right. Take that however you want. Anyway, he's underneath there grabbing the uh, QA1 drive shaft off, taking the straps off. Got all the decking off minus our, we're keeping a little table right there to hold stuff. Taped up the motor. Uh, yeah. I'm going to drain the coolant. That's what I'm going to do. So let's make a mess. Luckily, there's a drain right there. Well, here goes nothing. This is the hardest side to catch all the coolant on because it goes right across the oil pan. Take your bets if we're going to have a mess or not. Mm, so far, so good. Going in the pan. <laughs> Easy does it. I think we got her made. Yeah, we're good. Starting that little bit. Oh, yeah. And we'll reuse that. That's off road ultra coolant by Maxima. And uh, we put it in brand new, didn't we? For the dome? Yeah, the motor don't have a lot of time on it anyway, but yeah. get that all drained out. Pull this radiator cap, she's really going to come out. Oh boy, I that being on. Oh gosh, yeah, don't do that. <laughs> Whatever you do, do not touch the radiator cap. <laughs> it's just like sprayed over here on me. We'll let it slowly drain. Now I got to pee. Let's go racing! Chili Bowl time. You gonna, you gonna drive one of them one day? At the Chili Bowl? So it's safe to say you're looking for a ride? I'm looking for a ride. Nathan's looking for a ride at Chili Bowl. Let's get him there. <laughs> right? He don't care if it's a freaking push truck. Hey, you run the push truck at Fairbury. Yeah. That would be a cool de deal, though, wouldn't it? Just, just one, th just one time. Just, just one time. Somebody to fund it. I mean, you just get in and drive. No, that'd be an '86 Rayburn. I don't care. <laughs> just, it'd just be fun to go experience that. Oh, for sure, hundred percent. For now, we'll watch on TV. But I, you learn something every time you work on a race car, and me, it's always a pain in the butt to drain the coolant out of the block now we've always had the you know like had the radiator like everything's drained out of it before we done it this time i left the radiator cap on it now she's just chugging along and not making a mess so there you go Ta taught you something today so, yeah i got it on one <laughs> ain't got the cojones watch this you get her this time Broke it in half. We're pretty much professionals at taking out transmissions. Not because they break, but because we bend frames and stuff. We're real good at changing motors because they break. But hopefully we forget how to do that. Yeah. <laughs> Feels vaguely familiar, huh? Oh, I think we finally drained. You need me to drive something? Nut? Oh, it's in the in the end of that. Okay. Shift linkage? Not very long, but it's strong. 
That's what she said. <laughs> Just so there's video proof, I did do the other side. This side's easy though. It'll probably give me the most trouble. Oh. This one, watch your boobies. We can we can open the drain or the radiator cap for it because it just goes straight down. No mess. Kyle Strickler on the table? Yeah. Really? Yep, got to pee again. We're making our picks here. We don't, I mean. I'll take Timo's from the back. Oh, he's in the back? Okay, well, I'm going to take that blue and red and black 57. You guys do this? Here's your guy. <laughs> this guy's funny. You guys do this in the shop? Take your picks. We don't. We're not betting for anything, but just cause. He just the pink car. Team is. Yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna win. I can just tell you right now. So I'm gonna turn this thing off. See, look at that. He gone. <laughs> well, my guy won. So basically, all you win is first pick on the next one. So we'll do that while trying to put a race car together. No. No, 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 no. You wish. And we'll, we'll make sure to clean this up too before we send it to Donnie because I seen somebody in the comments was unhappy about us sending a dirty race car to him. They don't know he's an old redneck like us. So. He probably appreciates the dirt on it. Uh, yeah. We're closer. Water's out of that. I got to get the radiator drained. And then it'll be cherry picker time. We're going to do like we did last time and pull the motor and transmission. Yeah, we'll keep it in. Oh, yeah, we, we discussed it. it. didn't have much time on it. So if that's the case, then we'll probably just keep it on the cherry picker and just set it over there. Like put it on the floor kind of right by it. Is it yeah. Well, I mean, we'll have the, we'll, we'll probably pull the motor man. So I don't like setting on an oil pan. That scares me. And we'll put it on the cradle, but we'll leave the trans and all that attached to it. Yeah. Okay. And then it'll probably be plenty of work till Brian shows up. <laughs> Make him do something. We're like, hey, Brian, take the whole front suspension off. We're watching TV. <laughs> We're on our union break. Take, take the front, front suspension part and the rear end off. And keep saving that for later? Oh, maybe. I broke the TV. That's a warranty claim. Yeah. Now here's where we're gonna make the mess. Now here's where we're gonna make the mess. Getting the fuel. Oh, <laughs> I'll be dang. That wasn't even bad. So we clamped it. So of course, siphon it. Is it siphoning? Mm -hmm. It is. Nice. So usually yeah, that's a. <laughs> yeah. Now I gotta pee again. <laughs> Uh, usually that's a giant mess. Now, just in case you're wondering, battery is unhooked. No option for arcing or sparking when we're jacking the fuel here. Uh, fuel, ex fuel extinguisher. Well, that is fuel extinguisher. Fire extinguisher's close. You always got to make sure to have that because if you get this on fire, you better get her out immediately. Yeah, cigarettes. Yeah, I, I could just let me light one up here. Hang on. <laughs> anyway, so we're pulling all the fuel out because we got to take the fuel cell out and everything. Uh, all the lines and everything, so. I think it's right. I, I would recommend it regardless. Anytime the car's sitting for the off season. Yeah, that way condensation, yeah. this, that, and the other. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't disagree with you. So, I don't know how many gallons is in there, but he's got three, so he's assuming around 15. And we talked about it. Uh, no way to get that cradle on there with the transmission on there but we could flip the cradle around the opposite direction and just mount it on the motor mounts the other way and then block up the uh, transmission and set it over here in the corner and the reason for doing that that keeps you from having to undo the bell housing and everything else the alternator all that stuff can stay on there and just saves us time i mean the bigger chunks we take it's it's just easier and because it's going right back in so that's what we're going to do Got done my supper. Yeah. Snowing sideways still. 40 mile an hour wind. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Did you see that flip? Yeah. Golly. Hey, remember what we talked about? Yeah. You got put all that stuff down, Nathan. 
We got we got on union break. Yeah. Well, when Brian shows up, we're going on union break and we're putting him to work. Get them tools right now, and that took, go get them. <laughs> well, that's not very appropriate. <laughs> what you got your tool for? I got it in <laughs> what are we doing back here? Did it go? Boom. Yep. No. She's in a, quite a bind. Oh, yeah. She's in quite a bind. I can tell you that much. You know, they make tools that have a machine on them. Not for that one. No. Not for that one. Yeah. Not for that one. You know, you could, uh, just take these off, right? I'm leaving up there. To let him look at it? It's going back because we're going to need a new one anyway. Well, that'll make him get it to get us one, won't it? Always thinking. Yeah. Now just lift that right up. Mm -hmm. You got to take all the motherboards. You got to take these out now. That will take a machine, though. Okie doke. What is that? Three eighths looks like, isn't it? Mm. We had to drill and tap them, if you remember. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, th it's a three eighths head, but it's a quarter twenty. Well, just tell him because he's gonna be watching. Mm -hmm. he, he better watch his video. I'll go get what you need. That's a big flip right before here, before I walked out. But how's y'all's toolbox set up? I didn't talk about this much. Re re uh, or clean the the shop. Redone all this. We uh. Put everything in the the toolbox that I've threatened to do for how long? Four, five, six, seven years? Anyway, we always had this in the trailer and finally just moved it in the shop. Now it's set up with all my stuff. So I'll show you how, how it looks. You tell me. It's not perfect. Don't know if everything's gonna stay where it's, gonna, where it's at, but as for now, it's working. I know, uh, over there, at, what's that called? Trace My Space? Is that what it is? The weirdest thing? You ever seen that? Is it Trace My Space? I think it is. I, I think it is. That would be kind of neat to put in here, but I got to know. It's going to take a few weeks of working out of this to know where I want everything. But I, I, I think we got it pretty well lined up. Hammer time. There you go. That's what we got. Don't have everything in there yet, but it's close. Want that? Is he going for a machine? What's he going for? Oh, God dang, it's that bad? Oh, boy. Better go see. Oh, I got a machine right here. Oh, didn't even have any dirt underneath that or nothing. I got a vacuum cleaner for that. Yeah, we'll dust it off <laughs> Sock you right in the mouth. <laughs> Stalk to the microphone. Oh, I didn't mean for you to do that. Nathan, tell him. Tell him. <laughs> oh, here. <laughs> you pull suck it. You're supposed to stick. You ain't got to have all that. I can give you some of it. I can take 50% off. <laughs> Hold on to it. I'll tell you. <laughs> Live, on <laughs> Live on news. <laughs> yeah. What, what's your thoughts on the subject? They like all the black ones. Black ones? <laughs> yeah, get out of here. You got me right in the shop pouch. I can't ever say. Well, I'm not going to say it on here. You thinking right there, Bent? Mm -hmm. What makes you say that? By the tubing's kinked and the powder coat's busted over here. Powder coat's gone in it. Feel that kink right there where that bar goes on. Good, good. Huh. That's a big, big, big mother right there, so that's not going to be good. See how hard you hit that? You asked him if he didn't hit it that hard. I didn't really think I hit it that hard. I thought you hit it that hard. <laughs> well, that's how far it moved. That's supposed to be. That That is right now where it's supposed to be. 
Well, I'm just saying. That's even pulled up here. Well, it is. But, I mean, it's straight-ish, right? Would you agree? Straight-ish? That, this point to this point is fairly straight. Oh, yeah. And then, hmm, as straight as it can be. But it, it can't be fixed. No, but it ain't my favorite. Mm -hmm. you, you got something to say about it back in? I don't think so. Yeah, <laughs> sucking crap. Sucking crap. Yeah, like our table. Pretty nice. Yeah, it's pretty nice. <laughs> uh, I mean, I guess at the end of the day, you take this whole piece out of here. They can probably do it enough where you get to keep this stuff. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't think this is, any of this is bent. If anything, it's sprung. You know what I mean? I think it just sprung. Right. Hmm. Let's see how much she springs. Yeah, just cut her and it was do it right now. I ain't scared. I guarantee if you cut her right here and right there. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Well, yeah, maybe a little bit further up, but that's. I don't think that he. I think he'll replace the whole piece, don't you? I, yeah. I think he'll replace the whole piece because because I mean you just got to go that much farther. And then same way with that one. There. It is what it is. Don't hit the wall that hard next time, Nathan. Many have, people have tested the wall's integrity, and I don't think any race car has ever broke the wall. He says yes. Casey Burch broke the wall when he broke his back. I got he hit her hard then. Wind. Uh, I'm sure there's plenty. But the, the still yeah, I'm sure there's plenty of uh, people that maybe have cracked a wall, but I'm talking like knock it out like a wrecking ball. No. Okay, there's probably somebody that has, but well, I guess I'm gonna start pulling the rear end out then, and do the right thing and put it on two tires and wheels, and that way when we take it all and drop it down, it's just sitting there. Yeah. Okay. It's gonna make a noise. I freaking told you. <laughs> he said it's gonna go. <laughs> that thing was mad. Very angry. Well, I can see why it's angry though. He's this the end here is hunched up. I didn't hit the wall hard at all. Barely touched it. Yeah, that's straight. I want to see how many people is going to make fun of my house shoes. I've already talked about them. My house slippers? Yeah. These guys got boots and pants. I got sweatpants and slippers. Boots and pants and boots and pants and boots and pants. Whatever. Hmm. We didn't have to last time. I don't think we'll have to. Plus, it's got our damn uh, LED lights on it. Place on one bar. Not touching it. Close. They could always just loosen it up and tell them, yeah, whoever cut that short, we're going to slap them around a little bit because we never cut that. Joel. Joel. I'm not going to mention Joel's name. Hey, don't talk about Joel like that. Okay. Well, back to, I guess, pulling the rear end out of Yeah, that's how it, yeah, that's right. That's how it goes. It ain't tight. Just past hand tight. <laughs> Yeah, you're getting weak. You're weak, boy. Yep, them bars are definitely going to drive right into the ground. Don't scissor kick yourself in the back of the head. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Lunch Eater 5000. <laughs> What's the matter? Coming down.
Now will that roll? We have to see how she goes. Bones could not but yeah, stick your finger in there, buddy. <laughs> Tearing up that beautiful J bar. Yeah. Well, we'll probably run a zip tie over that. We just need to stand it up, don't we? Okay. Buddy, eat your Wheaties. Go ahead. Oh, it's like a machine table. It is. Yeah. Nice deal. Very I bet you. I bet we can change how fast it spins. Change the gear in that thing. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to stand on there? Okay. For the, like, to move this? All right, hit the button. No, no. You got to make the noise. Pop, 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 pop. Oh yeah, we gotta take the mid plate out. We got ahead of ourselves. We're just showing you, we got a new twisty thing here. This, you know, 360 degrees, and we got a. Air ride mm -mm. We always talk about getting that. It's like a tire changer. Yeah. We always talk about a good old tire changer. Yet we've never got one. But I think you can get that pretty yeah, easy. No, I said we always wanted a good tire changer, but we never got one. <laughs> let me, let me, he's out of here. He going, see you, buddy. Now, let me rephrase that. Looking for a good, uh, for a tire machine, but we never have got one. Yeah. Well, we're, we're getting real close, folks. Uh, four bolts. <laughs> They're all probably laying up there somewhere. I found one. And front suspension. Oh, we got to pull the steering box and all that crap. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> well, here's a... If you want to see what money looks like, you come over here and look in this pile. Uh, that's most of a race car. Uh -huh. Ow! I think I got my safety boots on. Moshine? Mm -hmm. I put it up top drawer. I can't believe you guys don't know where stuff's at in this shop. You know, hey, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and call uh, Snap-on and get some bearings for this thing. They've got them wore out, opening it and closing it. I know <laughs> Nobody, including the guy that put them in there, knows where anything's at right now. Is that tight? Nah, I ain't bad. So we just, we just put this on there, but we tested its lifting capacity because it's it's a piece B head, and we always talked about getting it. And we actually remembered, so that's a surprise to begin with, wasn't it? <laughs> but we picked this uh, shear up, and how much do you think that weighs? Tells you what it is shear. All right. I think it weighs a lot. Probably 600 pounds. I think it weighs more than an engine. That could be wrong. But it picked it up like nothing, and then we bounced on it. What's that tag say right there? Model number. Model number? Well, tell it, what, what is it? Since you're still right now. Well. A bunch? F is. Okay. 165. Yeah. 2N. Okay, somebody look that up and tell us how much it weighs. Uh, I don't know, but. 
that's it's all probably like three quarter or one inch steel plate so at least 50 with maybe a five in front of it didn't need that anyway we're gonna see how this baby lifts how it's got we want it to tilt back so we can get it out of the out of the, you know too long to go out of there straight Boy, a wobble socket would be nice right there, wouldn't it? Let me see if I can get it first shot. Oh, yeah. There you go. Put my, give me my snap on wobble head. Look alike. You'd never know. I think you're, uh, oh yeah, you're getting there. Looking nice, watch your fingers. Well, that holds the motor so far. Get that plug wire back on there. If anybody has uh, any extra 7 16 or 3 quarter wobble head impact sockets, let me know. Wobbled it. Yeah, no, I don't want that. Oh, those are good high quality washers. Ugh. <laughs> Lowest grade steel they make. Let me get you some good ones. How's that working? Pretty good? Mm -hmm. You put them in here? They're sitting over there right now. I'll put them back in the Okay. I think that's just about perfect. Looking good. <laughs> we'll just pull the car back. <laughs> hey, you ain't even got to move, buddy. Doug Wolfgang, Wolfgang Puck. <laughs> it's kind of going back straight. Oh yeah, I forgot we got the twistalizer. I, I can't get this thing to go back straight. There's a door back there. Whoops. Still a door back there. <laughs> now you're running over a shop towel there, bud. All right, let her down, bud. You got her. Got a counterbalance. Oh, yeah. As long as you don't come out the other side of that door, I think it'd be okay. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, we're going to put the the engine cradle on it backwards and then put a block on the... Okay. What? Yeah, we'll put it this way so it can't... You don't have to grab that. Oh, I wouldn't. You pull the motor mounts off. One way to know. I just don't want to set it on the oil pan. Not a fan of that. Dan, old son, probably doesn't recommend it. Well, just so you know, uh, an engine crate will work in reverse if you ever wanted to do that. There's probably guys out there that, that would. And we just need to figure out how tall the uh, back end's got to be. I just put it right in front of that uh, engine or engine brake. Ooh, hitting something. I don't want that turn over. Metal shear, that's the word I was looking for. Stomp shear. That thing don't know nothing about nothing. Nope, don't know it. That time of gun is dumb. Uh, <laughs> that's gonna be neat. Oh, this thing twists now. We'll just turn that and put it right there. Just turn your guy over here. Oh, ooh. <laughs> my stomp shear. Need that? That looks all right. Give that a drop. That's the well, best thing we've done. I would. It's over where you're at. Okay. Here, you hold this. <laughs> all right, you ready? Coming down slowly. I think. Oh, yeah. 
Looking good, looking good. You got that all planned out, didn't you? Sheesh. I'm gonna leave no, it just like a little that. bit, but I'm gonna leave it just like that. Oh. What a deal. This could be yours right now for twenty nine nine ninety five. And I'd sell it for that. Cheap. I'd sell it for that. Oh yeah. Cash money. I'd trade a brand new uh what kind of race car we want? Longhorn, uh, late model. Let's get a late model? They make them? I, no, I want a late model. We'll take, look, all right. I'll get a then. Royal modified or a Longhorn late model? I'll take any of them. I'll trade you straight up for this one. How about that? Deal? You buying? I ain't buying. Dang. Yeah. <laughs> Dang. Well, I'm the idiot. I ain't been working for two weeks. <laughs> How many circles is there? <laughs> that one was pre existing. A little bit and a little bit. Nathan just kept poking it in the same hole. <laughs> anyway, okay. So, listen, we started with a. We drove her in here. Listen, didn't we? Yeah. We drove her in here. And, uh,. I think we save that for tomorrow or something. Don't you think? You had a beer? No, not yet. Okay. Watch a couple chili bowl. Oh, there's a commercial on that I do not endorse. Block. Whatever that says. Yep. Never played it. We're going to eyeball the race car and watch the chili bowl. What's going on, guys? Hey, it's Tim here checking in at the old number seven garage. And I got something I want to tell you about. It's in a pile over here. And I need your guys' help. So what I've got here is all the tools that I don't need, okay? I've cleaned my shop out, even though it doesn't look like it. And I have put everything that I have triples and doubles of and just stuff that I don't need or think it could go to a better home in this pile, okay? Now, here's where I need your help. I wanna give this to a young uh, automotive student, uh, just a kid that's looking for some tools that don't have any or maybe he doesn't have the means to get any. Let's help them out. Let's get this set of tools to them. I mean, there's hammers, ratchets, screwdrivers, pliers, a uh, big drill, lots of stuff. Lots and lots of stuff that could be very, very useful to a young guy or gal that could put this stuff to good use. So comment down below. That's what we're doing. Comment down below. I want to see, tag the name of the person that you think is deserving of this. Now, they have to be pretty local because they need to come and get it. Uh, or meet me or whatever, but who is deserving of this stuff? It, it needs a good home, and I want to give it a good home. All right, guys, so this is on you. Put, put your comments down below. Who do you think needs all these tools and could really benefit from uh, something like this? I hope you guys are having a great 2024 so far. As you see, our shop's empty, so we've got our car. We're getting ready to take it to uh, impressive race cars. You got a little bent in the back end. <laughs> at the dome uh, you know it's just part of the comes with the territory sometimes so uh we're taking it to Donnie jumper our good buddy and uh hopefully we get that turned around pretty quick it's because you look at the look at the pile of parts back here and the dogs so that's what a modified looks like broke down into small pieces <laughs> wow so yeah as, as you can see we have our work cut out for us we gotta get this thing put back together but we gotta get it in good shape first so I'm not saying how bad it's bent, but it is. Maybe tweaked a little bit, and Donnie will definitely throw it on the jig and get it all figured out for us. So just something I've thought about as I was cleaning the shop. I uh, just started piling tools up. I want to get these to somebody. So tell me, who in the heck needs them? Got to be close. I'll even bring them to you if it's not that far. All right. Starts now. Let's get her going. I know you guys got some great suggestions. I know there is a deserving kid out there that could really benefit from these. So let's we'll see what you got. So I have news, got updates. The teacher at our local Unitech that teaches automotive told me a story about two kids that could really benefit from these tools. So that's where they're going. I'm going to take them over there, and these guys are going to really be able to utilize these tools 
where before, I mean, they didn't really have the option right, guys, for that. Well, so that makes me feel good, and I hope you guys feel good about it, that they went to good use, and somebody that really needs them is going to get them. As of for now, we'll get it sent up to him and just see exactly what's wrong with it. So that's where she's going to sit for a couple days until we get that going. So that'll be the next video, I guess. So appreciate y'all. Love you. We appreciate all the love and support we get on the channel. Make sure you like the videos. Subscribe to our channel. Don't cost you a dime to do either one of those. And it lets YouTube know that you like our kind of content. And it'll recommend more stuff to you. And recommend to other guys and gals that do the same thing. So... Yeah. Off to impressive as we go. Hi-ho, hi-ho. Huh? We'll see you.